Hi, now I'm going to share about distance time graph part 2. If you haven't watched distance time graph part 1, I encourage you to do so because part 1 is sharing more about concept and part 2 is about problem solving questions. Question number 1. Farid went back to his hometown in Ayakarov, Melaka by bus. The bus left the terminal in Badalinjaya at 7.30 a.m made a stop at the R&R Seremban, Negeri Sembilan, at 8.15 a.m., a distance of RKM from Ayakero bus terminal. Continued with the journey to Ayakero at 8.50 a.m. Total time taken for whole journey from Petaling Jaya to Ayakero, Melaka, is T minutes. So we look at the graph here. Complete the graph to represent Farid's whole journey. From first sentence, Fari went back to his hometown in Aikero, Melaka by bus. Means, from Petaling Jaya, go back to Aikero at 7.30 a.m. Here, made a stop at R&R Seremban at 8.15 a.m. From 7.30 a.m. to 8.15 a.m., the duration is 45 a.m minutes. So from here, go to here. Here is R&R Seremban. At R&R Seremban, at 15 to at 50 am. So duration from at 15 am to at 50 am is 35 minutes. 45 plus 35 equal to 80. So means here we need to, to draw a horizontal line. Still remember why we to draw horizontal line? Because the bus stop here, R and R Serempan for 35 minutes. Continue with the journey, I crop at, at 50 am means we need to draw the line down to horizontal line. B. It is given that the average speed for the journey from Petaling Jaya to R&R Serempang is 60 km per hour. Determine the value of R. Okay, if give you average speed equal to 60 km per hour, so you need to use the formula average speed equal to total distance over total time. We fill in only average speed 60 equal to total distance over total time. From here to here is 45 minutes but because the unit here is kilometer per hour so minutes must change to hour 45 divided by 60 as usual this one move to the left hand side 60 times 45 over 60 total distance is 45 kilometer means from here go to here is 45 kilometer now we need to find the value of r Value of R, how to find it? 120 minus 45. Then we get this value. R equal to 75 kilometer. So here is 75 kilometer. If the bus travels with a speed of 100 kilometer per hour for the return journey from R and R Seremban to Aikero, calculate the value of T. Value of T here. Okay, again, speed equal to distance over time speed 100 equal to distance 75 because just now we found here r equal to 75 so from <laughs> r and r serumpan to ayakaro the distance is 75 over total time 100 time total time equal to 75 the total time is 75 divided by 100 we have 0 0.75 hour because the unit is in kilometer per hour so the time that we find also in hour but here the horizontal axis here is time in minutes so we need to convert 0 0.75 hour to minutes so 0 0.75 times 60 equal to 45 minutes Forty-five minutes is duration from eighty 
to t here, 45. So to find the value of t here, we still need to add 80 plus 45 is 125. Question number 2 is SPM past year question 2017. Diagram 6 shows the distant time graph of Uma, Jason and Martin in a 100 meter race. A. Who won the race? Okay, we look at the diagram one by one here. First is Jason. At first, ran very fast. After that, stop. So, second one, Martin. From here until 100 meter in 16 seconds. Uma, from here, stop. After that, continue the journey. So, spend 20 seconds to reach 100 meter. So from the diagram, of course, Martin won the rest. B. During the rest, Umar slipped and fell over. After that, he continued his run. Set the duration in second before Umar continued his run. Umar is here. Okay, at this point, he slipped and fell over. So stop for a while. So now we need to find the duration here. So, 18 minus 9 equal to 9 seconds. C. During the rest, Jason was injured and he stopped running. Stack Jason's distance in meter from the finishing line when he stopped running. Jason here. Injured here. So, stop running. Here is 70. 70, km, uh, 70 meter is from starting point. So now the question asks, step Jason's distance in meter from the finishing line. So from here, means mass 100 minus 70 equal to 30 meter. D, calculate the average speed in meter per second of UMA. Average speed means total distance over total time. So total distance is 100 meter. Total second is 20 second include uh, he rests here. So duration is from here to here. 100 over 20 equal to 5 meter per second. Question number 3 is past year SPM 2018 question. A. State the duration of time in minutes the driver stopped and rest at Tapa. Okay, so here from Kuala Lumpur, go to Tapa after that rest. So what is the duration here? From 1345 to 1400. From 145 to 2 o'clock, the duration is 15 minutes. B. Calculate the speed in kilometer per hour of the car from Kuala Lumpur to Tapa. Kuala Lumpur to Tapa. So, speed in kilometer per hour. Speed equal to distance over time. Distance is 152. Times is here. So if 1345 minus 1200 means 12 o'clock to 1.45 p.m., the duration of time is 1 hour 45 minutes. All we change to minutes is 1.05 minutes. So speed equal to 1.52 divided by duration of the time here, 1.05 over 60. You must change unit to uh, hour because the unit here is hour. So change minute to hour. The speed is 86.86 km per hour. C. Calculate the average speed in km per hour of the car for whole journey. Average speed means total distance over total time. Total distance. Here, you can see it's 205 kilometer. 
total time must from 12 o'clock count until 3.20. So from here to here, total is 200 minutes. So average speed, total distance 205 divided by total time 200 minutes, you convert into hour. So the answer is 61.50 km per hour. That's all for today. If you like my video, please click like and subscribe. Thank you.